Unfortunately, this sedan is bypassed by the attention of Russians, although it is not inferior to its competitors in terms of its consumer and technical qualities. In addition, it is noticeably more accessible and cheaper than their content. It's all about the image, in this situation, he decides everything. Well, we will not have a popular executive class sedan with the Volkswagen logo. In this segment, the status of the brand is more important than the technical equipment and equipment of the car. This is the main reason for the low demand for Phaeton. According to the manufacturers, its target audience is wealthy people who do not want to flaunt their wealth. But in Russia, cars of this level are acquired just to stand out from the crowd. Therefore, the model is in demand only in its native Germany, where the executive sedan with the VW emblem does not cause local owners of burgers to feel her pride. Meanwhile, the Volkswagen Phaeton is a full-fledged representative of the F-Class, which has all the corresponding consumer qualities. In addition, it is perhaps the most affordable executive car on the planet. As befits a machine of this level, the Phaeton was produced both in a standard version and in a version with a wheelbase extended by 12 centimeters nominally, the car is front-wheel drive, more precisely, only in the basic version with a V6 engine. The rest of the modifications were originally equipped with an all-wheel drive transmission with a torsen center differential. The range of engines includes 3.2-liter V6 petrol, 241 horsepower, 4.2-liter V8, 335 horsepower, and 6-liter W12, 420 horsepower. There were also turbo diesels, a 3-liter V6, 225 horsepower, and a 5-liter VIO with 420 horsepower. The first version of the Phaeton had a 6-speed manual, and a 5-speed automatic was installed on request. All other modifications, except for the flagship with the W12, which came with a 5-speed automatic transmission, initially had a 6-band automatic. To match the monumental solid appearance of the Volkswagen Phaeton, its interior, it looks a bit old-fashioned and at the same time elegant. The quality of materials is the highest. The decoration uses only genuine leather and wood veneer. You cannot talk about the thoroughness of fitting the interior parts, it is a priori flawless. Every small detail, handle or interior button is turned on or pressed with a verified effort. Even the ceiling handles are equipped with a softly working micro lift. The bundle is very generous, so listing all the equipment does not even make sense. Used copies are usually well equipped, and choosing the most suitable option for yourself is not a problem. To say that the maintenance of a car of this class, even if the Volkswagen brand, will be cheap, is to sin against the truth. However, compared to competitors in content, the sedan is noticeably more affordable. It's also good in terms of reliability. For example, V6 and W12 gasoline engines have a solid timing chain. The rest are equipped with a toothed belt, the service life of which is 120,000 kilometers. Gasoline engines from Russian fuel often burn individual ignition coils. 2,500 rubles each, airflow sensors, from 5,800 rubles, and oxygen, 4,200 rubles. The automatic machine rarely withstands more than 150,000 kilometers without repair or replacement. The air suspension needs to be revised even earlier. Wheel bearings are short-lived, on average, 11,000 rubles each. The service life of consumables directly depends on the style and manner of driving. The engine most often found under the Phaeton's hood is the 4.2-liter V8. The unit is reliable and, if you use high-quality gasoline, will not require huge costs during operation. However, consumables, candles and ignition coils, various electronic components and sensors, cost a lot. But you can significantly save on high-quality non-original. In addition, the engine runs on 95 gasoline, unlike the V6 and W12 engines designed for gasoline with an octane rating of 98. Suspension is fully independent, rear multi-link. Spring repair is quite affordable, but pneumatics, it may be required after 100,000 kilometers, is expensive, 90,000 rubles. An automatic transmission usually lasts up to 150,000 kilometers, after which it needs a major overhaul, which will cost from 80,000 to 120,000 rubles. Therefore, when choosing a car with significant mileage, you should make a complete diagnosis of the box. Transmission. In the secondary market, modifications with front-wheel drive are practically not found. All-wheel drive versions predominate. The 4x4 transmission is similar to that found on the Audi A8 and has a reputation for being unkillable. The body is strong and rigid, it is not subject to corrosion. In addition, 
there are very few broken phaetons on the secondary market, they rarely drive such cars. However, Russian operating conditions have some nuances. Chrome-plated decorative parts become cloudy and swell after several winters. The rear suspension is fully independent, multi-link. In addition to the struts, 2,540 rubles each, and stabilizer bushings, from 1990 rubles per set, after 100,000 kilometers of run, it will have to update the transverse levers along with silent blocks, approximately 20,000 rubles. Air suspension is more complex in design and much more expensive to maintain, 